their lives were cut short. They never got the chance to realize uh, an adult life, and they were just kids, really. And uh, our whole regiment uh, averaged 21 years old, I think, officers and men. And they never had a chance to have families and children of their own. It's sad. Sad. Beautiful. Yeah. They all line up, no matter which way you look. Was it about 9,000? 9,387. Is him, Hickey, about a week before D Day, he joined our, our unit. Yeah, he was gun ho. Kid was gun ho. He, uh, he was a good guy. They were all good. We were a unit. You had to be. You just had to be. You depended on one another. Remember them for sure, and uh, remember the deeds and the, the, how they died, where they died. Yeah, they, they don't grow old like we grow old. Forever young. Yeah, remember them well, a lot of them. Sad about every one of them. Inexpressibly sad to see all those. How many? Nine thousand graves. Most of them 29ers represented more than any other any other branch of service in, in the cemetery. I put a coin on top of each one of those graves of my men when I go. And uh, the uh, then so that if their friends or neighbors came, they'd see that coin and know somebody cared enough to, to sit comes. Two boys. He was the same rank as me. He radio operator. He was a rifleman. He was killed within nine days of us. What one? Five months of each other. Yeah. Just, uh, made it to back to see just gets me every time. Hey, buddy. <laughs> see the number 29th, he landed on D-Day, but he made it. He made it through a whole another month and a half. Yeah. Observe a month. Must have been in the hedgerows and stuff. Yeah. Charles, they put it together. Okay, it's good. Thanks. Really.
I looked at him now, I'm telling you this, I looked at him and I forgot. He was shaking, his face was discolored, and nothing I could say to him would dis could dissuade him from the fact that he wasn't going to make it. This fellow here, buddy of mine. Anyway, he went back to I Company, he was in another boat for me, and we get in our boats that we come across, and he made it across the river. But when he got to the other side, machine gun cut him down. I never saw him again, ever. Though he was a buddy, and the war continued and went on, and we went on to Berlin, and, and I never saw him again until I came here to this cemetery. And I stood here. 60 some years later. Be proud that you're an American, that all those freedoms we enjoy and the liberties that we take for granted and our children and our grandchildren weren't free. <laughs>